Alright, Sandwave 8084 here with another Titans Returns Deluxe Figure Review. Today we're going to be looking at Decepticon Croc. And he ain't a croc. Alright, uh. He comes with Titan Master Gator Face. Get your Gator Face on. This is his card. Now I forgot to show Quay's card, but this is Gator, uh, Crocs. Uh, and this is his stats. Gator Face. Alright. He is just a straight up repaint of Skull Cruncher. Or what do they call him now? Is it Skull Cruncher or Skull? I don't know. They change the names and they can't get the rights back. So, yeah. His mouth opens in Gator Mode. If I could get my hand in there and do it. Oh, come on. Okay. He's not want to cooperate with me today. Come on, open your mouth. Let the child out. Thank you. Alright, he's trying to eat some babies. Alright. So you can open the mouth if he has some fingernails. Nice uh, sculpted tongue in there. I guess Skull Cruncher. Skull Cruncher. Whatever his name. Had it too, but I never noticed. But with these neon colors... Because he was originally an action master. And later in the line. It really shows up. So yeah. I kind of like the transparent neon yellow in here. Yellowish green. He's yellow is because of the black. It looks yellowish green. And of course the head's on a ball joint. So you can twist it and turn it whatever which way you want. And when you, come, when you get the figure out of the package. You actually have to snap the head on. Because it's not connected. Otherwise it's off a big backpack. This reminds me of the old G1 Insecticons with the, that. Alright, just took him off. Alright. Of course, you have a little bit of articulation here. Um, when you want to pose them. Just be careful that it's very easy to unpeg this out of the face on his arms. Yeah. <clears throat> Inside here is where the Type Master sits. Um, it's a rubbery kind of plastic, like a skull cruncher. So yeah, that's Croc's head scope. Very, very nice. Tight master. Very nice. Reminds me of something out of like the you know, Target Masters from back in the 80s. Little small ones. Or... I like the colors. I just like it. I like it. Alright. This is the figure. Like I said, he's a straight up repaint of Skull Cruncher. Only thing different is, like I said, the paint and the Tight Master. There you go. That's the only difference. And the name. In the bio. Uh, you can store his gun underneath his tail. So it sticks out the back. A little point of farting. Shoot people from behind. Pew pew. Alright. To transform this dude. What we're going to do is. Take his tail off. Just put that to the side at the moment. Save the weapon. Alright. So we're going to work on his legs. And easy enough. You just take them. And you just. Just undo them. Turn them down. Snap that part on. So that's right here. This is for transformation. This is the knee bend, but they all snap out because he's got tight knees. Um, skull cruncher. Uh, here's one of the ones that had really loose hips. This one still has some loose hips, like uh, he does. Not as loose as him though. But all his other joints are very, very, not very, very, not overly stiff, but they're 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 tight, which is a good thing. Flip down his foot. Not too far, like I almost did. There we go. Oh. All right, and you guys like stuff. So. Now you can work on this upper half. Camera's a tad. What I'm gonna do is take his head. I'm just gonna unpeg it, untab it. He's gonna fold it down to his back, and that will be his backpack. Take his arms. He's fold his part down. That becomes his shoulders. Simple enough. Spin his biceps around. Take that gator claws and fold them back. Get a claw, fold it back, and then it comes up pegged. Ah, that same problem with Skull Cruncher. Okay, both of them came up. Hold on now. This stuff horrible. Alright, get on there. Stay. Alright. Now his hands just fold out. Like so. And we'll take his headmaster, tight master, whatever you want to call it, his master. And you're just going to peg it right on in there. 
Booyah. It's in. And there is Croc. And if you want to get his weapons, you just unpick his gun from his tail. If you stored it there. Man, it's tight. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to choose his right hand because I am right handed. And that will be his hand. And he's got this peg down here, which you can just peg right in there. Or you just peg it in. Alright, and there you go. Croc. Stand proud, man. Stand proud. And this is him with Skull Cruncher. What are we going to call him? Get his legs back on. Not his legs, his feet are. So my problem with mine is he's... He's a floppy, floppy mess. I still have his gun tabbed in his tail, but, you know. Whatever. So he's very loose everywhere. All his joints feel super loose. On mine. Looks cool. But yeah, he's super loose. Like I said, straight up repaint. Just a new uh, Tight Master paint job. Looks good on him, though. He wears it well. And to compare him with his G1 counterpart Action Master Croc. Now, I think they got the colors pretty spot on. Let's put his arm down so we can show him better. I think they got pretty spot on. What you think? It looks good. So that is Titan Returns Croc, who is updated from his Action Master Transformer. And he's just a repaint of Skull Cruncher. Well, I'll put some pictures in this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.